Hey everyone, so it's a quick and easy chapter today. We're talking about harbors. So talking about harbors, it's one of the more challenging projects an engineer can be faced with and is it is a sighting and when designing, it is very difficult when designing a harbor. A harbor is a body of water where ships and boats can seek shelter from stormy weather or are stored for future use. And they are mostly used for commercial purposes, but you can use it for recreational purposes as well. Just think V&A waterfront in Cape Town if you want to think of recreational purposes. Then harbors can be natural or artificial. We'll talk about that later on in this slide. So factors that you need to consider in the planning of a harbor, what the location is, the need of the specific harbor, the advantages and disadvantages, the financial and economical conditions, where does that financial, the financial things come from, where does the money come from, the type of harbor you need, and the number, size, and type of crafts that need to be stored there. Is it a bunch of yachts? Is it a bunch of smaller boats or ships? Is it a big cargo shipments? What do you need to store there? Okay, so this is a typical harbor that you could see. Then we talk about the definitions. Most of this whole this whole slides goes about just the definitions. So a wharf platform, it is where loading and unloading of ships take place. It is this section here, this wooden section. All right. So then you get your dock. It is the area between those wharfs used for mooring of ships. We'll talk about mooring now. Then you get the dry dock, you get your pier which is very similar to your wharf. Then you get a mooring, which is the place you anchor, you anchor your ship. Then you get a jetty and a breakwater. We'll talk about a breakwater now. So you get your dry dock. It's your area between these two, these two concreted areas. So it's that water body over there. Then you get your pier area walking over into the water. You get a mooring, which is a place where you tie your boat up. And then we talk about the functions of a harbor. So first we said it's a shelter your vessels from destructive forces. It's navigational aid to support ships at sea so they can see the lights at that area. It is a service provision, so to load and unload shipments and receiving and dispatching of cargo. So very similar there. So the three types of harbors we get, we have a natural, improved and artificial harbor. Natural harbors are carved out of the land. It is just naturally formed there. You think of New York, Rio de Janeiro, Sydney and Hong Kong. So look at those harbors if you want to see a more natural harbor. So from a natural harbor, you can improve them a little bit by provide, providing breakwaters and sand, uh, removing sandbars, which is in Durban and Venice. Then you get artificial harbors. They are purely built on dry land and then opened to the sea. So uh, Cape Town is a big example of that. So this is your basic harbor with all your little parts of it. So you get three type of things uh, three type of structures your harbor is built with or oh, three type of things that splits the water and your land you get bulkheads it's a vertical wall it's parallel to the shore it separates the land from the water and prevents landslides and provide protection from or, or against waves then you get sea walls yes the picture isn't that good but it's the best picture i could find it's a stepped vertical curved surface so it has to be protected against scouring because water does have the tendency to kind of get underneath in here. And then it acts as a retaining wall for the soil. Then you get a revetment. It comprises of one or more layers of stone. You can see all of these little rocks over here. So those are your three types. And those pictures or these illustrations show it a little bit better. So your sea walls, uh, it's the largest type you get. Then your bulkheads are the smaller type and your revetments are the lightest type. 
breakwater. I've been talking about breakwater the whole time. Breakwater is a structure, con a structure constructed for the purpose of forming an artificial harbor or with a basin. So you can see here, where, here wasn't any harbor, but water, the, the current here might be bad or there's a lot of big waves. So they build a section out like this so that a harbor does form over here. Then the last slide, offshore breakwater, it provides a shoreline protection. You can see all of these little things over there. Okay, that's it for today. That's all you need to know about harbors, not a big section.